Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. I've already done one, and I'll tag it to the end. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August? What do we have for Pisces? Oh, we had one flip over. Ooh, stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So a stork b brings a birth or a baby, you know. So uh, there's something new that is coming in. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. So there's a chain of events that will affect your life. That's going to be happening. Something is happening that is going to affect your life. Probably going to open up a new opportunity for you. Or there's a new one. The, the stork came first. So there's something that is, is happening that is going to change your life. Hmm. I guess we're going to take these two because that's what I'm going to do. Kite vacation. Tulip, great passion. So we have some great passion here, which could lead to a birth. So if you're, if you're not looking to get pregnant, you might want to think about that. There's a chain of events that is going to affect your life. Something to do with a vacation in August. Maybe you're taking a vacation or somebody else is taking a vacation. Let's get one of these or a few of these. What do we have? My deck is upside down. I gotta fix it. No, I don't know. Maybe that was just the card that was upside down. Hmm. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? You will be attending a get-together soon. You are going to be, and this get-together is going to cause some sort of chain reaction. It's right next to the chain. 8, 8, 8. 8 is the time is now. Time 8 is about change. It's positive change. It is abundance. Okay, this is abundance. The time is now. Something may also coming be coming back around, you know, because of that infinity. You know, something may be coming back around, getting what you deserve. So you are going to, and I feel like it's positive because it is a very positive number. Um, We could have somebody here that is at a distance with that vacation card. Maybe you're going to meet somebody on vacation if you're single. And passion, you know, there's some sort of passion that grows because there's great passion. One more card. What do we have for Pisces? Cancer. And cancer was on the bottom of this deck when I flipped it. So I'm not sure if you are dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer. Let's get one more. Messenger. Messenger. So you may be uh, connecting with somebody through messenger. Or you, there's a messenger. Maybe it's a cancer messenger. You're going to be getting a message from somebody. Um, whatever this message is, it's going to affect your life. You're going to be attending a get-together soon. It has to do with this cancer. I don't know who this cancer is. Could be a cancer sun, moon, or rising sign. That means it could be a cancer rising ascendant or a cancer moon sign or something like that. The time is now. Time is now for you to uh, 
get some sort of new opportunity. Hmm. Let's get one of these for an overall energy. That one's reversed too. High Priestess, High Priestess. Some of you may be intuitively sensing that something is coming. I think your intuition is probably on high during this time. You could also be dealing with a psychic, tarot reader, medium, empath, somebody that is very, very spiritual. I feel like you are going to need to listen to your gut. You're going to need to listen to your intuition. You're going to be receiving a lot of signs. Um, you're going to be attending a get together soon. You need to you need to just take a step back and observe. I feel like there's going to be a deep feeling. You're going to feel something very deeply about somebody. Because the high priestess is very deep. It's a very deep energy. You may be getting a message from somebody that is very spiritual. It's right next to this messenger card. You may be getting a message, or you're getting a message from the divine. Could be from your own self. Could be from your gut. You're get. You're going to be receiving a message. Okay. This is a message from either your intuition or somebody that is very intuitive. That is. Oh, I have a crystal ball here. This is somebody that is psychic or something like that. Increased intuition during this time. Really listen to your gut. You're going to be coming together with somebody that is very spiritual, very awakened. There's a high priestess here. There is a high priestess here. This is somebody that is very uh, seductive, mysterious, enlightened. Affirmations, affirmations. Now, Cancer got this as well. So you're definitely dealing with some sort of uh, emotions. It is good. This is emotions, okay? Because Cancer is very emotional. You're gonna be. You're gonna be in your emotions. You're gonna be feeling deeply. This is deep, deep, deep feelings. You're gonna be feeling deeply about a situation. There's deep feelings here. This is about positive thinking. You need to pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts are manifesting at this time. Make sure that you are speaking positive to the universe because I feel like there's a connection that you are uh, manifesting. You may not see it. Um, use positive words to call in whatever it is that you're looking for. The abundance, okay? There's abundance coming for you. 888, the time is now. That is abundance. It's extreme abundance. There's also 888 is everlasting love. That's infinity. It's never ending love. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but there is a chain of events that is going to affect your life. I feel like there is some sort of um, secret or mis mystery that has been uh, hidden that is probably going to be revealed and, I, and, and that's hard to explain. I feel like there's definitely... Um, some sort of new beginning here. I do believe there's a new beginning with that stork. Get prepared. Get prepared. You may sense that it was coming or that it's coming. It is definitely coming. And, and, and you think about that 888. What goes around comes around or something is coming back around. There's no end, okay? There's no end. So there's something that there's no end. It's like it, there's, it's never ending. This is like an eternal love, right? Or eternal connection. So I, I do feel like there's some sort of, I don't know, something to do with eternity here. Um, you're going to be attending a get-together soon. This is a never-ending love. Um, hmm. It's time with that 888. The time is now. Receiving a message from somebody that is very spiritual, you know, or from your own gut. So what do we have for Pisces? You've been sensing that something is coming. I believe that you have.
maybe you've been sensing that somebody is messaging somebody or some there's some sort of messenger something is going on on on, on some sort of messenger as well you may be connecting with somebody on messenger whatever messenger you use or the person that you're dealing with is all right here we go oh, three of wands reversed it is in the past four of swords reversed in the present two of pentacles five of wands reversed Eight of Cups, right in the middle, is saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. And I think it's whoever you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with is saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye. Love in the future. Two of Cups, the outcome is a union, a partnership. It's true love. Saying goodbye to some sort of... I think whoever you're asking about is saying goodbye because if this is in the them position. Somebody is saying goodbye. Temperance. That's in your position. Ah, six of swords right under the eight of cups. Somebody may be leaving your life because that is in their position. It's in their position. Maybe they're sick, maybe they're ill, or they're fed up or they're exhausted, somebody, or they've left your life right now. Presently, we have extremely fed up, tired, exhausted, leaving. You could be leaving somebody. This could go vice versa. Okay, you, somebody is leaving. They're moving to a better place. They're leaving. There's turbulence. There's too much trouble. They're leaving the troubled waters behind. Their emotional disappointment. This is exhausting. It's tiring. This is no life. This is like the end. It is the end. It is totally the end. Now, we have the three of wands reversed, the five of wands reversed, and temperance. That temperance is time. It's time for a change. You need, you're going to need to accept. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson through some sort of strife or tense situation. You have been dealing with somebody that has been causing you a lot of tension. They've been causing you a lot of strife. I feel like you, you've you reached, there's relationship issues with this person. You're, you're ready for something more. You're ready to accept and allow that something there's something better out there for you. Uh, three of Wands reversed, that is delays. I feel like you've been held back. Maybe you've been held back by fear, refusing to take a new approach in some way in the past. There could be a sudden departure here with the Three of Wands reversed. I feel like... Uh, unprepared unprepared lack of foresight lack of vision not seeing not seeing an opportunity missing an opportunity wasting time uh staying stuck staying stuck in the past staying stuck where you're at i feel like you've been stuck i feel like you've been stuck in a situation where there's a lot of tension where there's been a lot of strife maybe where there's been a lot of competition as well because the five of wands is about con uh competition extreme competition this is a this is a uh, i feel like it's some sort of breaking point you know i feel like uh, there's something that has been ending and i think that you're ready to accept this ending you're ready you're ready for a better life you're ready you're exhausted you're fed up um i feel like there's a goodbye here with the eight of with the eight of cups and the six of swords i mean that i know that some other fantasy tarot reader can make this into something else but i can't Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Okay, this is goodbye. Moving on. Going to a better place. Leaving the trouble behind. I, there's been some sort of emotional disappointment. I feel like there. I, now you could be leaving somebody behind, or somebody may have left you behind. This person. There's. It's like there's some sort of sickness or illness, um, or they're sick of it. Sick of it. Sick of it. Sick of it. There's. There's too much strife. There's too much tension. Um, but in the future, so far, you have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So this is a change, a realignment that leads you to love, leads you to some sort of divine partnership. I feel like I feel like you know you're headed towards love, or whoever you're dealing with may have a new partner because somebody is headed towards a new partner. They are.
They're ready. They're ready for peace. They're ready for harmony. They're, they're going. They're going somewhere. Somebody is moving, going somewhere. This is like the death of a situation. Learn some sort of lesson through struggle and strife. Somebody may be wanting to come back. So you may want to go some want or want to move, want to move, moving, moving, moving. Somebody's moving. You could also be dealing with somebody that is at a distance. You know, there's some sort of distance here with the three of wands. Maybe you've been wanting to leave, you've been wanting to travel, you've been wanting to move. It's gonna happen. It is going to happen. It's time. It is definitely time. The time is now. Ooh. Five of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. Five of Pentacles reversed is getting help, coming out of a situation that where there's been some sort of hardship, there's been some sort of struggle, maybe there's been financial hardship, fighting, maybe fighting over money. You may have been dealing with somebody that wasn't helping you, that wasn't paying, or there was fighting over money. I have a turning point here. There is definitely a turning point. I, I don't know if you've been abandoned or somebody has, has abandoned you recently. You know, or they're going to. Moving on, leaving something behind, realigning yourself, making a choice, making a change. I feel like you have been committed to um, holding on to something. You have, and I feel like you're at a point where you can't do this anymore. You're ready for a change. You are, you're ready for a change. And I feel like you've been trying to find balance. And I feel like the universe is realigning you to something that is more in alignment with you. There is some sort of love partnership here that is... Uh, that comes after a departure because it's the Eight of Cups. There's a fight, okay, with the Five of Wands that causes, or it's, if it's not a fight, it's just the end of a battle. It's the end of a competition, you know? It's like, I'm now done competing. I'm all done playing these games. I don't have any fight left. And, and that could go for many different situations. I don't have any fight left. Saying goodbye, headed towards a partnership. The Eight of Cups, this person is headed right towards true love. And it could be your person, and I'm just being honest, because it's in their position, okay? It's in their position. So I'm wondering if your partner, who you were with, that the, you have been having so much tension with, has is going back to somebody, you know, or they're or they're leaving and they're re or they're I feel I want to say reuniting. Whether you're reuniting or they're reuniting, it, it you know this is my second Pisces reading. I did one last night, but I decided not to to share it. There could be a there could be a reuniting here with a past life connection. There could be a reunion. With the Temperance card, there's also a renewal. There's a need to accept and allow that something is over because Temperance is after the death card. So there's a death of a situation. I don't know if it's already happened or it's happening now because I feel now, 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 now with the eight, with the eights, now, now, now. There's some sort of everlasting love here where two people are meant to be together and these two people are coming together and however that affects you it is what it is i feel like you know i don't know if it's your person that is reuniting with somebody that is their past love you know their past love connection or you're leaving and you are reuniting reuniting with a past love connection. There is going to be a change of events that will affect your life. There is some sort of love connection here. And that is the truth. This is a perfect match. It's a perfect union. This is falling in love. Somebody is falling in love. 
This says uh, harmonious change. I believe that's what it says. So there is going to be some change. It's harmonious. I believe it says harmonious change. Um, and that infinity sign is there as well. So there is a, there's a very positive change that is coming for you. Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Somebody is following their heart. A proposal, accepting a proposal, getting a proposal, falling in love, headed towards love, making an approach towards love. A decision, two of wands on the bottom, is being made in regards to a partnership. Now we have three twos, two, 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 faith and trust, unions, partnerships, soulmates, have faith and trust. This is also about changes, choices, decisions. Somebody is making, twos are, somebody is making a decision to follow their heart in a new direction. And they're going to be expressing their feelings towards, I feel like it's a soulmate. There's a soulmate connection here. Then there is a change. It is definitely a change. This is the end of some sort of suffering with the Four of Swords reversed. There's been some sort of pain. There's been, it, it's been long lasting. There's been some sort of long lasting pain here. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Saying goodbye leads somebody towards a partnership with an individual where there is love, where there is emotional fulfillment. Somebody's going to be getting an offer of love and they're going to take it. They are going to take it. It's, it feels like this person has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself. Could also deal with a Sagittarius. There's going to be a change. And I feel like it has to do with, with leaving. It definitely has to do with leaving. With the Six of Swords and the, and the Eight of Cups. Somebody is leaving a situation and they are headed right towards a partnership that is perfect. Okay, they're headed towards a perfect match. This is somebody that I feel like you already know this person or they already know this person. I feel like there's some sort of connection there. It's a deep one. It's a deep spiritual connection. Could be a past connection, you know. A decision is being made to step into unknown territory. We have somebody here that has is deciding to go. They're deciding to leave. They are. They're deciding to leave. They've been delaying it. They've been wasting their time, you know, uh, causing a lot of struggles, you know. But now they're leaving and now there's some sort of reunion that can happen. There's a reunion here. There is. This is love, an offer of love, cancer, something to do with a cancer. Headed towards peace and harmony and balance, leaving behind something emotionally unfulfilling that has caused a lot of strife in your life, a lot of strife. You're headed towards serenity. You are, you're headed towards you know, something that is going to really fulfill you in some way. Or your partner is. Somebody is. We got somebody here that is saying goodbye and they are headed right towards love. They are. This is big love. It is big love. Get ready for a change. 
because there's going to be a chain of events that affect your life. News of a birth or new business opportunity. Somebody's going to, could be traveling. We have traveling a few times here. Traveling to a new destination. Moving is here as well. We could have a breakup. You've got to be honest. The Eight of Cups is a breakup card. It is. This is, this is, this is a dead end. You know, and once somebody makes that move, because we have the move, they head towards a perfect match. So this is the right decision. It is the right decision. It is. Somebody is expanding themselves. They're ex there they are. They're expanding themselves. They're about to step into new territory. This may be a spur of the moment decision. Two, two, two. Have faith and trust. Believe. It's time to take that next step. We could also have a commitment here that is stepping it up to the next level. There could be marriage here. There could be a proposal. You know, this may have to do with a commitment. Somebody may be just meeting their marriage partner, their, their soulmate. This could also be the end of a marriage because I'm talking about marriage. Maybe there is definitely a perfect match here. Somebody is leaving an emotionally dissatisfying situation behind and they are ready for change. They are ready for love and they're going after that love. Sick and tired of wasting time. Sick and tired of the struggle. Sick and tired of the strife. It's time for something better. And you're going to be receiving something better. So I feel like you, 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 you may be attending a get-together where you come together with this person and you have this deep, deep knowing that this is your soulmate. Or this has already happened. Somebody may have already attended a situation where they've met their soulmate and, you know, it causes a departure. Whatever is happening here, there is love in the future. There's emotional support, falling in love, deepening a bond. But it comes after saying goodbye and making a change. Good luck.